Alright, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation a squared minus b squared is equal to 49. So to solve this, I'm going to use the property that states that if I have something in the form x squared minus y squared, this is equal to x plus y times x minus y. In this case, a squared minus b squared, a is x and b is y, so this turns into a plus b times a minus b is equal to 49. Now from here, I can rewrite 49 as 7 times, or sorry, not 7, 49 times 1. 49 is equal to 49 times 1, so that's true. And this I can rewrite as 7 times 7. Now, we obviously know that a plus b is going to be greater than a minus b. So keeping this in mind, this means that we can't, we can't rewrite a plus b times a minus b as 7 times 7, as 7 and 7 are equal. So this possibility is out of the way, and 49 times 1 is the only possibility here meaning we're going back to a, time, a plus b times a minus b is equal to 49 times 1. So because a plus b is greater than a minus b, we can say that a plus b is equal to 49 and a minus b is equal to 1 because a minus b, 1 is less than 49 and a minus b is less than a plus b. And this is also in the form a number times a number. So and notice how this is equal to a number times another number. So we can say that a plus b is equal to 49 and a minus b is equal to one. So what we have here is a system of equations and I'm gonna add these system of equations. a plus a is 2a, b and negative b cancel out and 49 plus one is 50. So I get that 2a is equal to 50 and if I divide both sides by two, these two cancel out and I get A is equal to 25. Now that we know that A is equal to 25, remember how we said that A plus B is equal to 49. So this means that 25 plus B is equal to 49 and B is equal to 49 minus 25, which is 24. So A equals 25 and B equals 24. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation two to the power of X is equal to X to the power of 32. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by taking the power of one over x on both sides. So I get two to the power of x to the power of one over x is equal to x to the power of 32 to the power of one over x. And the reason I did this is because if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So x and one over x, these two cancel out. So on my left hand side, I just have two. And for my right-hand side, 32 and 1 over x multiply to get 32 over x. Now, from here, I'm going to take the power of 1 over 32 on both sides. And if you guessed, we're doing this to get rid of this 32 on my right-hand side. So for my left-hand side, I just have 2 to the power of 1 over 32. Now for my right-hand side, these two are going to cancel out. So I get x to the power of 1 over x. That's all that's there remaining. And now, we want to simplify this because our end goal is to make this in the form a to the power of 1 over a is equal to b to the power of 1 over b. So in that case, if that's in the form, that means a is equal to b. So we already have x to the power of 1 over x over here. So we just need to make the left-hand side be in the form a to the power of 1 over a, meaning 
this number here has to equal this number. So we need to find a way to make that. Well, what we can do is rewrite 1 over 32 as 2, 2 over 64. And now, remember, this is the same thing as if I have something in the form a to the power of n to the power of m, this is equal to a to the power of m times m. So I can refer, reverse this and rewrite this as 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 1 over 64. And 2 to the power of 2 is 4, so I get 4 to the power of 1 over 64 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. Now, this still isn't, these two numbers still aren't the same. So what we're going to do is repeat the process once again. 1 over 64 is the same thing as 2 over 128. And I can rewrite this as 4 squared to the power of 1 over 128. Now 4 squared is 16, so I get 16 to the power of 1 over 128 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And they still aren't the same, so I'm going to repeat it once again. So I get 16 to the power of 2 over 256 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. Now this is the same thing as 16 squared to the power of 1 over 256 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And now, 16 squared is equal to 256. So I get 256 to the power of 1 over 256 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And now notice that these numbers are the same. And this is in the form, as I said, a to the power of 1 over a is equal to b to the power of 1 over b, meaning a is equal to b. So x is equal to 256. So this is my solution to this equation. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends or family.